Chairman, Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen, it is a great honor for us to address you today on the 66th session of the General Assembly. It is also a great responsibility since our presence here today marks the 5th GA session when Romania has youth representatives speaking on behalf of its youth at the United Nations. We therefore commend our government for its continuous support and commitment towards enhancing youth participation at all levels. At the outset, we would like to welcome the declaration adopted in July in the context of the high-level meeting of the 65th session of the General Assembly on Youth, Dialogue and Mutual Understanding. However, today we would like to kindly call your attention on three key issues that we consider as being of paramount importance, not only for young people in Romania, but also for youth worldwide. Firstly, active participation, secondly, youth employment, and thirdly, education. Adults often tend to disregard the great role young people can play as actors for positive changes at the levels of our societies. Youth can, provide, can prove essential in promoting peaceful relations and good governance while spreading tolerance and understanding in an increasingly multicultural and globalized world. The active participation of young individuals in their respective societies with their capacity for innovation and their enthusiasm in embracing change and laying the grounds of progress can be easily directed towards addressing some of the most complex pro problems the world is facing today. The influence and impact of a concerning action of the youth has proved its progressive drive during the Arab Spring. At the level of the European Union, the European Youth Strategy affirms the commitment of the EU and of its member states and creating favorable conditions for young people to develop their comp competences and fulfill their potential to work and to actively participate in building a better society. Youth involvement is not only desirable, but is instrumental in shaping a better social, political, and economic environment for the benefit of all. A complex program for encouraging youth participation must begin with information and consultation in order to build confidence among young people and the related institutions, and thus laying the ground for a strong partnership at all levels. At national level, in Romania, taken as an example, we can acknowledge some encouraging developments. The level of youth participation is on the rise. As we speak, not only undergraduate students are involved in volunteering activities, but also high school students are becoming more active. This encouraging development is re reflected by the establishment of student councils in almost all high schools in Romania, where students are getting actively involved. At the same time, we must also know that only a small percentage of young people have been involved in volunteering activities, whether in a non-governmental organization or in a private company. Given the above, we appeal to all young people to step up and engage in those national, regional, or international programs that are aiming to improve their standing in society by turning up the volume of their voices while zooming in the public attention to their urgent challenges and thereby increasing our chances to be heard and seen. Mr. Chairman, talking about youth employment has become unfortunately something of a light motive in all international debates regardless of the respective forum. However, it shouldn't be forgotten that we keep repeating it for a very good reason. Not enough is being done thus far, especially in a context aggravated by a global economic crisis which still seems to be lingering around. So, when discussing youth employment, we must be addressing the issue of access to adequate education and training adjusted to the demands and specificities of the complicated labor market of today. Actual working experience provided by internship activities and the active participation in youth NGOs, career-oriented training and guidance supporting entrepreneurship initiatives, all this should come to complement an educational system in line with the times. Our country, like many others, is also dealing with the complex challenges stemming from the global economic downturn among which, of course, the unemployment. Our government is currently exploring various solutions for this problem. We believe that this issue can only be addressed in an integrated and comprehensive manner. The most recent concrete action targeting youth unemployment has been the passing of a law encouraging and facilitating the establishment of small and medium-sized companies by youth. Nonetheless, Various private companies in Romania are partnering today with the universities or NGOs in order to offer the opportunity to young people to undertake an internship. 
This approach promotes the consolidation of the public-private partnerships. We underline the importance of strengthening the career-oriented guidance, both in high schools and in universities, and the aforementioned partnerships between public, private, and non-governmental organizations. This common effort may facilitate young people's access to the labor market, and perhaps it will prove to be a sustainable solution to our complex problem. Finally, besides focusing on entrepreneurship as the mother of all solutions in tackling the challenges of high unemployment rates, we would also like to draw your attention on non-formal education and volunteering as part of the solution. This brings us to our final point. Formal education offers the necessary instruments for understanding social and economic aspects of development. However, only non-formal education, especially through non-governmental organizations, prove to yield the best results in improving participation rates among youth while stimulating them in finding viable solutions and become part of the global partnership for development. Voluntarism in non-governmental organizations has a great potential for transforming the nature of development work by involving not only governmental actors, but also citizens. We need a thorough and systematic process for development of the educational programs, addressing the needs of young people at the start of their career. This is, from our perspective, the best investment in the future, because it can bring added value both to national governments, private companies, and young people alike. Furthermore, education combined with volunteering can scale down youth unemployment. Recent studies conducted in Romania indicate that youngsters who volunteer in non-governmental organizations have a higher chance of getting a paid job after graduation. To illustrate the potential of the non-formal education, we could note that a significant percentage of the Romanian youth considers that formal education does not provide an appropriate answer to the labor market demands and that after graduation, they do not feel that they have the necessary skills and qualifications for getting a job at par with their level of formal education. At the same time, over one-third of the young people in Romania approximately 36% recognize non-formal education as being adequate to their needs of professional development. Mr. Chairman, on behalf of the Romanian youth, we appeal to all member states to continue scaling up their efforts in creating better conditions for young people to develop their competencies and to fulfill their potential to work and to actively participate in the construction of a better society. Empowering the youth is not just desirable, but rather urgent, especially in an aging world such as ours. It is urgent in order to shape a more just and inclusive social, political, and economic environment for our present, and especially for our common future. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I thank you.